Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Rum World. And again, let us see what's gonna happen today. So we were still building the tribal ware, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we actually have only five more left to go. Okay, that's kind of nice. So this means I can actually uh, set up, start setting up people to, you know, start going somewhere. So we did talk to the pirate merchant, so we don't need him anymore. Oh, this is dirty. This is dirty. This is very dirty. This is even dirtier. Ah, uh, it's horrible. Okay, anyway, uh, let's actually make some wooden floor here since we did tear down the wall. And what I'm actually gonna do is actually turn a light here because it's kind of dark. I'm pretty sure the animals don't care, but I do. So again, um, we're gonna be building several extra defenses, especially around our geothermal generators. Now, these are gonna be the hardest ones to defend because they are at the edges of our base. Cow 3 has given birth. Oh, boy. Okay, everything's in the animal area. <laughs> we have so many cows. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna eat everything, eventually. Let's hunt. Wild boars, wild boars, wild boars, wild boars, wild boars, wild boars, turkeys. Just hunt everything. Everything. Alright, and our warg is actually fully healed. So, the, the plan is to actually build an extra layer of wall around our base. And, of course, among that layer of wall, I'm going to have, of course, except the door, I'm actually going to have traps. Now, I'm not entirely sure how well spike traps work. Oh, there's a raid. Uh, not entirely sure how well tra uh, spike traps work, but I will be placing a lot of IEDs, probably incendiaries as well. Uh, Anti-green... Warhead trap? What is that? An antimatter powered anti grain warhead. That's a lot of antis there. Connected to a touch activated trigger, since it is hidden in the surrounding terrain, it cannot be placed adjacent to other traps. Animals can sense these when calm. Uh, it cannot be placed. Okay, so it, I cannot place it next to spike traps. Okay, that's, that's good to know. What is an anti grain? I'm gonna have to actually. Uh, Probably build a production facility over here for... I don't know. I have no idea what anti-grain is. And the other thing I was thinking is a nutrient paste, paste dispenser? In an, immu in an emergency. Fabrication bench. Do I have that? Actually, don't. Yeah, I do. It's this thing. What's an anti-grain? What's, what's an anti -grain? I'm gonna look at the raid afterwards. Uh, no, seriously, like, what is an anti -grain? Right, So I know what a biofuel refiner does. Is it in the brewery? Work for beer? No. Is it a drug lab? For producing various drugs? No. High tech research? We have that. Simple research? We have that as well. Huh. I have no idea what that is. That is the first time I've actually seen that. No idea. I'm probably going to have to build some probably camp fuel power generators as well as a backup somewhere. Uh, because again, we have three geothermals. Yes. These two are very exposed. So if they go down, we're going to be very limited on power if they decide to like destroy these first. So I'm probably going to expand the wall a little bit around the geothermal and build... Not just traps, but a couple of turrets as well for defense. Just enough to get us, to buy us time to actually rally towards the geothermals. Even though those are an unlikely target. Anyway, let's actually uh, check out the raid now. A group of Outlanders from Man's Treaty have, uh, have arrived in transport pods. Uh, it looks like they want to use the sappers to tunnel around our defenses. Now, because they're going to use sappers, this means they're probably going to go through one of the walls. Now, there's two ways of evading that. I could just directly charge them, and they will probably go through the walls. Let me restrict everybody to the home zone. The other thing I could do is mortar. I have two steel mortars. This one's not loaded. This one has incendiary shells. So, who's our best shot? I think it's like Sheet or something. Yeah, Sheet has 16. So, I want you to man the steel mortar. Oh, that is a lot of people. That is a lot of people. And they have... What is that? Molotovs? 
Oh, they have nades as well. They have normal nades. I was like, the Molotovs are not really going to go through the wall. Knives, revolvers. A bunch of revolvers, though. That's a shoddy. A bolt action, bolt action. Okay. Mostly revolvers, like two bolt actions. Ooh, okay. Incendiary launcher. If I can actually just land a single hit with cheat, that's it. But right, I'm going to have to actually set up everybody else there. Like over here. Yeah, they're going to try and tunnel from here. So we're going to be defending around these parts, I guess. Wait, where is Sheet? What is he firing at? Set force target. Okay, no, he's not. He doesn't have a force target. So if he can actually land a shell somewhere around here, that'd be kind of nice. Okay, they just dug in. Okay, uh, I need to set up my people. I should have set them up a lot earlier. Okay, you're going in here. Uh, Faye's going in here as well. Dwee, uh, you would go over there. You have an LMG over there. You have a shotgun, sure. You know what? You're going to be somewhere around here. Shout out. Uh, you're incapable of violence, but I want you inside here. Zane, over here. Touche, over here. Over here. Lyra, you have a sniper. You can stay here. Zitro. Um, they are funneling, sort of. Gray has an LMG. I really don't want Gray to... Like, be very exposed. So, Peruvian in the side. Eden is actually shooting, so that's kind of fine. Zitro could technically outmaneuver them somehow. You know what, Zitro, over there. If we actually kill enough of them, they might decide to just leave us alone. Sheet, I need you to stop firing this. Um, <laughs> and uh, come over here and help. Uh, mortars didn't really work out that well for us. Good thing we still have a couple of uh, turrets that are actually in range. Those will help out a lot. Alright. We have a, sh a cow that's been shot. Everybody else is retreating. Are you going to keep firing? Yeah, you know what? Keep firing. Uh, let's see if we can actually rescue one of these. If we need them, that is. Alright, so Bio, you are not good at anything. Slothful. Wow, that is not good. We're not taking you. So strip if you can. Sleepy. Uh, pyromaniac, new strip. Uh, Jesse. Didn't I have a Jesse for something? Go down. Uh, Sheriff is dead. No, so just a herbalist is actually still alive. Can I actually forcibly capture somebody like this? No. What about like this? No, still can't. Oh, why can't I then? They were just attacking me. Just because they decided to stop attacking me doesn't mean that they're free to leave. Right? Everybody else, stop doing what uh, you were doing. All right, so this turret is actually kind of powerful. Wow. Uh, the barrel durability, though, is... Uh, oof. 40 only. This one has 120. Ooh. All right, so pick up all, all of their weapons, of course. That's a steel knife, really? We don't need that. Anything else we can keep the Oh, one of them actually died here. Yeah, I do want you to pick these up because uh, we are after... No, not the marble wall. Below the wall. Bolt action rifle. Poor, poor quality, so we're probably going to sell it. But yeah, I do want them to pick up the corpses because I don't want just random corpses laying around. None of them are going to fall from pain. Muffalo, 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 muffalo. There it is, our carry animals, finally. So, speaking of which, I should actually unrestrict my people. Oh, I'm gonna need to build a lot of defenses. Death. Cause blood loss. Uh, the cows actually shot a lot, so... Oh, oh even Eden shot it, okay. Oh well, too bad. Are you two not gonna die soon? Oh yeah, you are. Right, well, shouldn't really strip you anymore because you're about to die. And turn this on as well. But everybody's more or less back to normal. Buffalo, though, we're definitely taking those. Uh, those are pack animals, carry animals, so... Apparently. You know. I, that's something I didn't know. I'm sorry, there's gonna be a lot of things I don't know about this game. Even though I did play it a very long time ago. 
just there's just so much there's just so much that's been added so many new things we have so many animals i need to get rid of some of the cows like it was a good idea like once upon a time but we really don't need milk anymore we have so much pemmican we're actually not keeping up with the meals even though we do have four of these now and we have three cooks okay uh, this means one of them is not butchering though. Don't we have four cooks? Okay, we don't, I guess. A cow is pregnant. Yeah, these cows, man. Did the pig... Ah, oh, the pig was actually putting people there. Okay. There's always some food here. It's supposed in like two days. If it's a bit cold here. It is a bit cold here. It's not too cold, but it's a bit cold. Alright, so I definitely need to build uh, more of these. Oh, the barrel has been rearmed. That's nice. And they are repairing. That is good. So I'm not really going to build two parts of the wall yet. Ooh, alpacas. I guess those are uh, pack animals as well, but we have muffalo now. Research finished. Okay, that's good. I have no idea what the... whatever that thing was. Maybe it's under multi-barrel? I don't know. May ah, oh, it's probably pulse charge munitions, isn't it? I'm actually gonna do this before we start any of these, because apparently uh, finishing this is a kind of a long time away. How is our tribal wear doing? We're actually done with the tribal wear, that's kind of nice. All right, so let me set up a couple people to go there. We have enough pemmican. Oh, we have more than enough pemmican. All right, so world map. I believe it's a couple of days to journey, wherever that thing was. It was over here, wasn't it? Tribalware 24, normal quality or better. I should actually check those. So let me uh, form a caravan, uh, form a caravan. And just look at tribal wear. I cannot actually search by name. Items. And uh, nope. Okay, tribal wear. Just tribal wear. We can actually load up granite chunks, okay? And dead corpses. Okay, that's creepy. Tribal wear. Tribal wear. Can I like to see the tribal wear, please? Did I pass it? I probably passed it, and uh, yeah, I did. Where is the tribal wear? Um. Normal, okay. Normal. Good, excellent. I'm, so long as it's not bad quality, it should be fine. I have four good ones here. Excellent ones. Excellent ones probably go for a lot though, yeah, 305. There's the, I, I didn't see 24 there, though. I guess some of them are like 3s, 4s. Like 5 of these. I think we have enough, actually. Alright, so let's actually form a caravan. Let's see who's going. Alright, so Touche is definitely not going, actually. I'm not going to send Touche out this time. Um... Since it's just going to be a delivery mission, I really don't need more than like three shooters and one melee. Uh, so who am I sending though? So I'm pretty sure it's under a sign, right? Okay, so... Actually, I can just send one of them and just add the others to the caravan afterwards. That should work, right? I'm pretty sure. So do we... Uh, we're not sending Dwee out, no. Actually, yeah, we're sending Dwee out. We're gonna send Dwee, Lyra, because we are gonna need a doctor. Uh, Lyra's as well a good sniper. And I guess Renz. Renz and who's the other melee? Except Touche. I forgot. Oh, it was Zitra. Okay. So let's form the caravan. Uh, we don't have the muffle. Oh, our, our... Are the alpacas actually trained? They are. Okay, that's good. Right, world. Uh, that was a misclick. 
from the caravan. Okay, so uh, Lyra's definitely going. Where's Lyra? Where's, where, where's, where's she? Lyra. Again, she's a doctor. We need her. Zitro's definitely going. He's melee. Uh, Gray's not going. Faye's not going. Zane is not going. Dwee's definitely going. And there was one more, but we'll see. It's probably Sheridan, isn't it? We, I do need an extra bolt action. I might actually send somebody else except just Sheridan, you know. Right, so... All the alpacas are going. Because we need those. Like, send as many of these as you can. Right, so... We can actually carry a lot of stuff. And let's put all of the tribal work. So I'm gonna need 24 total. Okay, let's start. Too bad I can't just search up the terms, it'd be kind of nice. Our visibility is kind of high, but uh, total body size of all people and animals in the caravan, but we have a lot of animals, so. All right, tribal wear. Uh, some of them could actually be wearing the tribal wear, so that could be a bad idea. So one here. That's six, eight, nine. That's not even close enough. Nine, 13, 16, 17, 21. 22, 23, 24, okay. That's nice. All right, next thing we're doing, next thing on the list, is food, lots and lots of food. So they're definitely taking at least 20 chocolate. Let's face it, they're gonna need it. We're gonna take 10 of these simple meals because they're not really gonna last very long, so rot in 1.8 days. Okay. Um, Five. Yeah, that should be fine. Package survival meals. I could take a couple of those. But again, pemmican. And I'm gonna take take a thousand pemmican. Yes, I want the extra food. Actually I'm gonna take a thousand and three hundred pemmican. Just in case. You never know. Uh the other thing we're gonna take is How advanced components. Where's that? Herbal medicine, we're gonna need a couple of those. I'm gonna take like 10. We actually have so few herbal medicine at this point. Good thing we actually expanded the farm a little bit. Okay, herbal medicine 10. I actually don't need to take so many alpaca apparently. I guess I can lay down on the alpaca a little bit, like these two. Just so our visibility goes down a little bit. Alright, that's it, right? Alright, so I have three people here set up. I want to send at least one more. We're gonna see who it is, though. Choose the route, and the route is going to be... Advanced Components times 14, Glitter World Medicine times 14, and Hyperweave times 150. It really is for the advanced components. How much do advanced components weigh, though? Let me see. I want to see. If they weigh too much, I might actually send all the alpacas. Hmm. Advanced components? Come on. I'm pretty sure we have some of those somewhere. Ah, oh, they don't weigh that much. Okay, so we're fine. So we're going to accept that. We're going to pause the game because I'm going to send other people to the caravan as well. Right, uh, so Sheridan. I sort of weaken moving, but you do have a bolt action. Uh, you are social, weren't you? Shada? Are you incapable of violence? You're sort of good on social. And you know what? You're going to the caravan. And am I going to send Sheet out? Oh, Ambrosia Tolerance there. I don't like that. I do want an extra person just in case of an ambush, but... I mean, you're really mostly good for mining. Yeah, I'm going to add you to the caravan. Alright, that should be it. 
we have a half decent caravan and they're going exactly where they should be so that's very good any weapons i missed here nope an alpaca is pregnant oh no i'm gonna have to slaughter all my animals ain't i uh, okay, next playthrough, I'm not gonna be taking any cows or pigs or anything really. Yeah, they'll help with the hauling, but no. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I car offer. Uh, contact you with an offer. The location of an AI personica, which you'll need in order to build a spaceship. They inform me that the item is quite rare and usually its owner have under heavy guard. Uh, call them with your comms console if you're interested. So... I will do that, but I just sent my people out, so that might happen when they come back. Just because I might have to send them back, some uh, like send them out or like send them out immediately. Uh, so that'll be in the next episode, though. I'm gonna end this one slightly short because again, I'm pressed on time, and that is why I'm doing Rimworld instead of uh, Slatus Slatus Power Ascension uh, this week. Just because Slatus Power Ascension can take anywhere from like. 20 minutes to like an hour and a half depending on the builds and depending on how lucky we are and how slow things are going and so on and so forth but i know with rimworld that if need be i can i can end it at the 20 minute mark or i could if i do have the extra time go for like 40 or 50 minutes depending on the time allotted but for now i really don't have any more time so my name is grandpa mystic i do hope you enjoyed this episode of rimworld and i do hope to see y'all in the next one